Yeah. All right, Dave. Uh, Mike Feeney, 1999, 174 pounds, eight. I'm sure that's somewhere in your room or in your locker room, right? It's your last All-American. Man, you've been toiling at this for a while. Del Porto left, what, five years ago now? This is my fourth year. So. Four, four years ago. You took this thing over. Could you imagine you guys would have been a match away from beating Central, your alma mater, at the MAC this year? And Sidarion just going off. For some, nobody told me I had a losing record coming here, man, and just, you know, making the quarters. And, 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 and let's talk about the brick challenge. You had that. I saw it from the other end. You guys had that. How, how sure were you about that brick challenge? I wasn't very sure at all, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, I was off the side of the mat. You know, you're trying to watch the, the wrestling, you know, not necessarily watching the clock. I know when I looked up, it was zero, but, you know, I don't know when they awarded the two. It was close. Um, you know, we had two challenges. Um, I felt good. I mean, he, he just gutted up hard in the second and rode him out. I mean, He's good on top, but you know, for him to to ride out a kid like that, and there's a kid that beat us at Midlands, um, and just showed a ton of heart in the second period, riding, riding him out, getting himself back in the match, and then, I mean, even if we didn't get the takedown, I felt good about where we were at. You know, we needed to get to the leg. Um, you know, every time we got to the leg, the kid we finished on him, and you know, almost vice versa with him. Although we, we defended like crazy that first takedown, so. Um, God, he just a lot of guts. I mean, a lot of a lot of heart on his part for sure. This kicks the door down for you guys, man. Because you got to understand, that's that's always been the stigma in a lot of the Mac schools. You can go there and you're not going to be an All-American. You can go there, you can't win a national title. No, obviously, you know, we dealt with this at Kenton. Now you're kicking the door down to Eastern, man, and it it's going to be. The momentum is here. You've got the guys. There's a bunch of them coming back, and you got great recruiting. How do you recruit so well? And how did you kick the door down? You know, we were, you know, you're trying to find the right type of kid. Um, you know, the good thing about me is I was a part of a program that's real similar to where we're at. You know, I was a part of Central Michigan, and they had those type of things. We had multiple All-Americans. You know, every year uh, we were ranked as high as second in the country. Um, I've seen it happen. I know what it takes. Uh, we got the right kids in here, you know, like I said, I think we have two seniors, we have three juniors next year, our team is mostly freshmen and sophomores, um, the tough part is getting them to believe that they can do it when it's been almost 20 years since it's happened, and it's almost like this thing that's unattainable, you know, to get a guy here that, you know, comes in with a losing record, but, you know, just believes in himself and just keeps wrestling and wrestling and, um, you know, fights his way into being All-American, I mean, it's it's huge for us now because guys can point to a person in the room and know that they can do it. Um, and you know, super proud of him. Super proud of you know our team. This last two months of how we've wrestled and. Um, you know, really, it's as optimistic as I've been since I've been here about our program and where we're at and where we're going. Um, you know, like I said, we got good recruits coming in. Um, I don't know how much that means unless they're ready to do the work. But we feel good about them, you know, with the type of people they are. Um, we feel good about our freshmen and sophomores. You know, I mean, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of these years you end up disappointed with how things have gone. This is the happiest I've ever been with where we're at. Um, it's super excited for Snowy, for sure. Last year, at the, or last week at the Ohio State Tournament, uh, one of the Madden brothers mentioned Eastern Michigan when I asked him about recruiting. I know you can't comment on it, but that's incredible, man. Now we've got top 10 recruits talking about you. Yeah. Now they're here watching. What do you think that does for recruiting when you've got guys who are blue chippers talking about you? You're in the conversation now, Dave. Yeah. Well, like you said, you know, you got to prove that you can do something with them. And, you know, having an All-American, you know, sends that message. You know, we've, we're in the picture a little bit with some of those guys, I think, because of our reputation and the type of program that we have. Um, but that only takes you so far. you got to prove that you can do something with kids. And, you know, our hope is that... You know, hey, we're in Ohio. We recruit Ohio well. We're, we recruit Michigan. There's lots of Ohio and Michigan kids here, and hopefully they can see what we can do with a sophomore that started wrestling when he was a sophomore in high school. You know, and the potential he has, and that he's, you know, finally starting to get to what he's capable of doing. So I'm impressed. I'm gonna let you enjoy this moment. You got anything else for me, Dave? No, thanks a lot, Sam. Congratulations, yeah, man. Thanks.